All right, in this video, we're gonna go over the process of bisecting an angle. All right, so if we start with an angle here, we call this angle X, Y, Z. So if we already have an angle, the first step in bisecting the angle is going to be to swing an arc through this angle. So the point of our compass is gonna go on the vertex of the angle, and then we're gonna make ourselves an arc using our compass that goes through both lines both line segments that make up this angle. All right, so we've made ourselves an arc here that goes through our angle. The next step, if we call that step one, step one is to make our original arc in our angle, and step two would be to take our compass and make arcs from each point here of intersection between the arc we swung originally and the two lines that make up the angle. All right, so we're going to take the point of our compass, we're going to put it on the point where the arc intersects the angle, and we're going to make ourselves an arc here. And then we're going to do the same thing from the other intersection point. So the point of our compass is now going to go on the opposite line segment from this angle, and we're going to make ourselves another arc. A very important key here is that the compass width has to stay the same when you're swinging both of these arcs, all right? So you made an arc here. You need to compass, keep the compass the same width when you go to make your arc down from the other line segment, all right? So when we swung this arc and this arc, the compass width stayed the same the whole time. All right, so we've made an intersecting set of arcs here. And to finish up our bisection, all we need to do is connect using a straight edge, connect the vertex of the angle with the intersecting arcs that we've made. So we can just use our straight edge here. We want our line to go through the vertex of the angle and the intersecting arcs that we made. So make a line there, and that is the bisector of this angle. In other words, we've cut this angle here in half so that this angle and this angle are congruent. So if we were to label this uh, A, then what we could say here is that angle X, Y, A is congruent to angle A, Y, Z. Oops, angle A, Y, Z. So the steps again for our bisector. First, we're gonna take an angle. We started with angle X, Y, Z here. We're gonna swing an arc using the compass we're going to swing an arc that goes through both lines of the angle. So that's step one. Step two, from each of the intersection points between the line segment and the arc, we're going to swing new arcs here. So one from this intersection point and another one from this intersection point. So that will be step two here. And then step three is to draw a line segment from the vertex of the angle through the point of intersection of those two arcs that we swung from each of these intersection points of the original arc. All right, thanks for watching this video on bisecting angle, and I'll see you in the next one.